Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch and Want, and thanks for logging on. You're looking at the IWC Pilot's Chronograph Reference 3777-04, 43mm in brushed stainless steel. This one's very much in the tradition of the IWC Pilot's lineage that dates back to the 1930s, albeit with modern refinements, most notably the incorporation of a chronograph, which has been a continuous tradition in the IWC Pilot's line from 1988 to the present. Now, this is the latest reference. 3777-04. So it's one millimeter larger than its predecessor, the 42 millimeter, 3717, and you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. It wears with a lot of presence. It's fairly thick at 15 millimeters thick, but it doesn't sit too high on the wrist. It's got enough span that it spreads its mass well and it spreads its bulk well. The proportion of length to width to height is actually quite elegant, and in combination with that matte black dial and the polished metal of the bracelet in the case, it's actually quite subdued for such a large sports watch, and that's in keeping with its pilot's watch tradition. Now, in an aircraft, you've got more important places to put your eyes than your watch. There's your instruments, there are other aircraft in the sky, the sky itself, and of course the ground, so you're only ever going to have a furtive glance at your watch from time to time, and that's why it's big, it's legible, and it comes from that tradition of the instrument watch. Oversized, because quite frequently they were worn over coveralls, so that's where the size and stance of the watch comes from. Very comfortable. You can see in the profile shot, it really contours nicely with thick but curved lugs that meet my wrist halfway and contour to its curvature over the edges. Now the other standout is this combination bracelet and clasp very finely finished. The finish matches the case in as much as it's predominantly brushed but beautifully executed with just a little bit of polish on its shoulders as jewelry. Not the main event but as an accent. It's effectively used the few but beautifully executed instances of polish for instance on the flanks of the case here onto the lug tops and at the belt line dividing the middle of the bezel as well as the shoulders of the links. Well done quite attractive, discreet, but clever. Now the bracelet itself is a unique five-link design. Now you, you can ob obviously get a pilot's watch on a calfskin, and some might say that's more traditional, but I love the look and the feel of this five-link bracelet. Very silky on the wrist, doesn't pull hair, doesn't pinch skin, and critically, it's equipped with an awesome deployant clasp. There's a lot going on here, so let's start with the finish. You have brushed finish on the exterior of the clasp, and then on the interior, a combination of high polish and machine-turned perlage, so that there, there are no signs of the unmachined raw surface as it comes out of the stamping and the CNC tools. Now the clasp itself is not stamped, it's actually machined, so all of its definitions, all of its edges are very sharp, very substantial, excellent. The quality and the security that comes from having a twin trigger deployant ensures that this one's going to stay put on your wrist. It's not going to come loose during high G maneuvers or, for that matter, a trail run. The bottom line is that there's a lot of clever engineering here in addition to substance and fine finish because this little polished IWC logo on the exterior is actually a button that depresses to allow actuation of the IWC sliding micro adjustment tool. Now, five millimeters of travel in one millimeter increments. This allows you to resize the watch for use over a long sleeve for days when you're active and your wrist is expanding or contracting when it may be hot outside. And of course, the bracelet itself is fully modular, so you can actually remove every single one of these links with the included tool that comes with this watch. So you get the ultimate in sizing accuracy between the micro adjuster and the fully modular bracelet with all links removable. So that should give you a good sense of the fit, the finish, and the feel. But let's talk about the look of this dial. For the most part, it's a hybrid of the Big Pilot look and the IWC Mark series. Each one well over six decades in the making. They've really honed the look to ape the appearance of a traditional analog instrument in an aviation cockpit, taking with the idea that the instruments of the dashboard in the cockpit are the most visible, that the engineers know what they're doing and know best in the aviation environment. They've taken that look and transposed it onto a contemporary luxury sports watch. Now, there have been some changes here at the date 8 complication vis-a-vis -vis the previous 3717 pilot's chronograph, and the main difference is that it has been harmonized the appearance of an aviation altimeter, the instrument that basically reads your, your height above the ground, or at least your barometric height. 
The bottom line is that you can see three dates with a red dot index at 3 o'clock indicating the current date. Day date, I find this to be very practical because, let's face it, most of us who use this watch, who wear this watch and enjoy this watch, probably aren't going to be flying with it. But what day of the week do you not need to know the day of the week? In telephone calls, emails, when writing letters or correspondence, being able to quickly reference the day and the date is still valuable in the 21st century. Likewise, the watch features a chronograph based on the IWC caliber 79320, that's the Valjoux 7750 base. This one offers two of the most useful complications anyone could have in a sports reference, the day date and the chronograph. If you're in a business where you need to bill hours, this can make it a little bit more fun. If you're timing the intervals between meetings at a conference, again, highly practical. It even has uses around the house, everything from timing the kids time out to cooking fish tacos on the grill having a timer is a good thing. So you can actually time two separate episodes, one on the minutes hand of the watch, and then of course using the chronograph hours, minutes, and seconds, you can follow a second interval simultaneously. Very useful and very crisp in the hand. Now the watch is a versatile all-around sports reference with six ATM water resistance, a full bracelet that's not going to be subject to degradation from heat, sweat, and moisture as a leather strap might be. You've also got a screw-down crown for durability and an anti-magnetic Faraday soft iron cage around the entire movement. If that seems a little bit exotic and superfluous, almost like the electrical engineer's version of a helium release valve, think about this. In which modern home or office environment do you not experience high-powered electronics, wiring looms, computers, speakers, and subwoofers? All of them are arguably a greater hazard to your watch than water because in this day and age we've all sort of learned our lesson about exposing mechanical watches to water but magnetism is the unseen killer and it can throw off the timing of the delicate metallic hairspring that is the heart of your watch's regulator with the Faraday cage paramagnetic iron channeling the fields of magnetism around the movement you have that built-in measure of security against the hazards of a modern high-energy electronic office and home environment now this watch, which is ideal for summer, really a watch for all seasons, but particularly summery in as much as it's versatile, outdoor oriented, and sports styled, is available 100% complete from Watch You Want. All factory boxes, manuals, documents of provenance, as well as cool accessories like the polishing cloth and the original strap size or bracelet sizing tools are included with this IWC Pilot's Chronograph reference 3777-04. If all of that sounds like the watch you want, check out this IWC Pilot's Chronograph on our website, Watch You Want.